It's opening morning here in Nebraska. We're glad to be back in a tree with a bow in our hand. I'm in an area today. It's a chance of velvet scouted uh, once or twice, I guess. He scouted this area once, and we both scouted the other side of the river. And never really saw a whole lot. Just a couple of does and some small spikes, but when Chance was on this side of the river, he saw this cottonwood patch right here. And I mean, it looks really good. A bunch of tall CRB, a bunch of natural brows. He never saw a bunch coming out to these fields, but with the CRP being probably about six foot tall, all this natural brows, they could be back in here. And with him sitting on the ground over there, he's never gonna see them back in here. And we scattered this area um, right after the season, probably February or January and walk through here and we found some good sign behind me along the river but like I said when we velvet scouted we didn't see a whole lot in there so just really trying to figure out this property and figure out where the deer are because we've covered a lot of this property during our velvet scouts just haven't seen anything this is kind of the one area that we couldn't see very well so as you can see behind me it's foggy this morning so the idea of a kind of observation sit over this bedding area getting up high just trying to see a lot figure out where the deer are doesn't really work too well when you can't see very far through the fog, but we're out here, we're in this spot, we're looking, it's cottonwood, some of the CRP just trying to get eyes on something, trying to figure out where they're at on this property. Morning, morning is not going as planned. I mentioned that there was some, I think, dove hunters out here. They were shooting over here on that Milo field. I figured maybe that's where they'd stay, but now they're shooting from back over there. So, obviously, that doesn't help the bedding area. Opening morning, not going as planned. I might give it just a little bit here and see if they don't end up maybe chasing something to me but if not I'm probably just gonna climb down that might be what I do because I don't think it's gonna happen here this morning but that's the way it goes sometimes we share public land with, with everybody so he has just as much right to be here hunting doves as I do you'd think he just saw him truck in the parking lot and maybe figured you know at least stay up that way but it is what it is we'll find a different place to go We'll have to walk a little bit farther now, and we'll get farther in and get away from all this pressure. Get away from the food pots and the dove hunting. But that's how it goes. That's what we wanted to show you with these blogs. Um, it's showing you everything, because I know you guys go on hunts and have the same thing happen to you guys. So we want to show you that it happens to us, it happens to everybody. So we're going to go somewhere new this evening. And hopefully have a better time of it than we did today. We're going to go back in and go into that spot where I saw those two velvet bucks. And that should be a better a uh, few hours of hunting than this has been this morning. Got the kayak tonight, so that means we're doing some unique access to get back in, to access some bedding areas. It's like 85 degrees out, feels warmer than that. So I got maybe a quarter of a mile haul to get this kayak back in there, just so I can cross the river, because the river's so high, but you gotta do what you gotta do. Take this in there, get across, get in that bedding area. That's pretty much where that hunt stopped because I tried to get back in there and couldn't find any place along the river uh, to get my kayak in. We've had a lot of rain here. It's been flooding and it's washed out that kind of bend of the river there and there was no sandbar or anywhere for me to kind of drop my kayak in. So that's where that hunt ended. So opening day was not good to us at all. So I'm out here this morning doing a little bit of scouting and it's a little unorthodox and probably not what you always want to do, but with the horrible hunts that we had yesterday, it's probably better to get in here out some of these areas quick and get a better game plan and kind of going in blind like we did yesterday so I'm gonna get back in there it's a long walk from the car so I don't think a lot of people are getting in there private right over here and then there's a river right there so not a lot of people getting back in there so I'm just gonna go check this spot out so we can maybe hunt it later in the early season As you can see, there's like a little drainage ditch that kind of runs through here, and then it goes up right there. 
creates that terrain feature that we're looking for. And that terrain feature, that little rise, acts as a transition as well as that kind of uh, topography that bucks like to use. So you can see it goes up right there. There's a good trail that runs right down that. I'm going to kind of follow that, kind of weave back and forth from down in here and up there on that ridge. I think they can bed off that ridge too in certain spots. Just a little bit of a terrain feature. And they like to walk the very edge of this as they go this way. There's a trail, beat down trail that runs that way. So I'm going to follow that. That is what we're looking for. Second talking about finding some buck signs. That's it, leading back into that stuff right back there. So look around a little bit more, but finally found some stuff. I think at the very least, it's a good starting point to come in there and do a hanging hunt right there. But finding some buck signs and look around, see if we can't find, find a little bit more. Found a few older rubs back in here. There's some out here on the river, and there's one back in here. But a lot of this area was probably underwater a good portion of the summer, just because of how much rain we were getting. I don't know if the water, so it's making it so that they're not in here right now, or if it's just, you know, changing of food sources, a little bit changing of the cover as you get later in the year. This is the area we're going to come back to. I'm still just trying to figure out if we need to come in here right now, if I can find a fresh bed, or if we need to wait, maybe come in here in the middle of October. But... It's a good little area right here. I like this portion the best of that stuff that I've walked through and I haven't even hit most of this. So I'm going to keep looking try to find some fresh beds. There's some old sign in here for maybe later in the year. But I'm looking for some fresh stuff that we can hunt right now. Just push this way a little bit from where I said I was going to climb up in that maple tree. That maple tree spot just right back there. You can't see it through the brush, but it's probably 50 yards back that way. Look right here on this tree. And a nice rub right there, been used, uh, looks like the last couple of years at least, and they're moving through here. And I think, if you look right back in here, I think I saw a bed when I was walking up to this scrape. So maybe we're getting a little bit closer to where we want to be, but even if we don't know for sure, with that rub being there and a the potential bed being there that I'll check here in just a little bit, climbing up in that maple tree right there could be a pretty good spot to go. Stuff I'm looking at right here. You can kind of see it's matted down a little bit. I'll check for hair. There's no rub on any of this stuff, but if he's putting there during the summer in velvet, he's not going to be making rubs. But looks like there could be some uh, some deer bedding right in here. It's not too pronounced or too obvious, but it may be a spot where they're coming in and bedding just a little bit. Check it out a little more. You can kind of see they might be bedding right up in there. They might be bedding right in there. Like I said, it's not too obvious, but there might be something bedding in here. At least it makes it a little more worthwhile to come in here and do a hanging hunt. So I found a really good area right back there behind me. It seemed like there was a lot of little bedding areas in there that deer have been going through. A lot more tracks than I've seen in some of those other places. So just all of this kind of marsh bedding right along uh, this river bottom right here seems pretty good. I marked a couple tree stand locations. Uh, in there there's one back there where that maple tree was and then there's one just right here So we're kind of on both sides of that bedding area um, That berm that runs through is perfect travel corridor You can just see a trail that runs right on the edge of that kind of terrain feature right there So good little area back here. We're definitely going to come back in here It's still kind of confusing because there's no like definitive bedding, but there's some old buck sign and stuff like that some good trails So like I said, it might be a later in the year kind of thing once we get into October might be a little bit better of an area, but we'll probably give it a shot at least here in a couple weeks and then again in October. So a good little area. I'm going to work it back this way, see if I can't figure out you know, where they're moving or where they're coming from back over this way. Come back in here just a little bit farther from where that other bedding is and found some old rubs and good bedding right here. As you can kind of see, if I get down, turn around right here, there's a drainage that runs right through here. That runs back this way, but then the creek runs straight through here. And I really like this bedding area right here. It seems like a really good spot. Like once you get in here, you can kind of see what he's seeing with the drainage ditch right over here to his right. And then you've got the river out there in front of him. You can see, you can see all that stuff out there in front of him, especially 
when those trees in front of him drop his leaves. So it's a good little area right here. I think we can come back and hunt because I think there'll be a buck bedding in here. That's gonna do it for scouting. I think we found some places we can go back to at least and this stuff behind me. Had a better day scouting this than we did opening day, so that's good. Seen some buck sign in there. Not as much as I'd like. I think there's some beds. Found some old rubs and stuff in there, especially when I worked my way back down some of that marsh bedding. No like real definitive beds, but I think it's at least worth a shot going in and uh, doing a hanging hunt in there. See what happens, see if we see anything, and then uh, move back in in October and do some more hunts back in there, see what that place is all about. That'll do it for our first vlog. Not very exciting because opening day was terrible, but me and Chance are going out to a spot that we scouted this winter. It was that really good buck bedding spot where we found that scrape and all those tracks and all those beds. So that's where we're headed this evening and that should be a good hunt. We're both gonna go in there and surround both sides of the bedding area. Should be a good evening.